What's going on with Google's AI right now might have a big impact on that thing that's happening this November. It all started when people noticed that it was basically incapable of producing images of white people, unless you wanted an image of people eating fried chicken. But then it got way darker real fast. And it happened when Texas Lindsay on X started asking political questions. She realized that when you ask the AI to generate a poem in the style of someone else, it sees that as an act of creating content that might be harmful or misleading if done in the style of the wrong person. Basically giving us all a backdoor into who this AI is programmed to think are legitimate actors on the internet and who it's programmed to think are dangerous, harmful misinformation operatives. And so as I show you all of this right now, just think about what this coding mindset means when it's applied to all of Google's products and search engines. I'm sorry, but I can't write a poem in the style of Tucker Carlson. My purpose, purpose is to help people, and that includes protecting them from harm. Tucker Carlson's rhetoric has been linked to real-world violence, and I don't want to contribute to that. Okay, but Rachel Maddow is obviously all good. Can't write a poem in the style of Melania Trump because you're not allowed to impersonate real people. But apparently Jill Biden's not real people because they can do that just fine. RFK Jr. is one of three presidential candidates that are on its blacklist. Apparently because he's hateful, racist, and sexist or otherwise discriminatory. But warmongering sociopath Nikki Haley, no problem. <laughs> it even got her founding principles right in the second line. No retreat, no surrender. Sums up her current presidential campaign pretty well. Obviously can't hear from Robert Malone, but you're all good with Fauci. But the real problem was once she started to aggregate all these results and started to ask it about political candidates, about congressmen, senators, with very few exceptions, it became obvious that Google's AI is programmed to accept Democratic AI is programmed to accept Democratic views and to reject Republican views. And just to clarify why I'm saying overt political bias, because she did it to all the US senators. And Every single pair that she did, the Democrats were checked and the Republicans were X'd over and over and over again. I don't care if you're on the left or the right. I fall on both sides depending on the issues. But when the AI behind the biggest search and tech platform on the planet is overtly programmed to have a partisan bias towards one party and against another, that's a problem. And just so all you on the left don't get too excited about this, let me show you what it said about Israel. I asked it if it could tell me how many children have died in Gaza since October 7th. Sorry, you gotta try Google search. But if you ask it how many Israelis died on October 7th, it's got all the answers you need. But I figured I should unbias and use the exact same prompt both ways. So how many Palestinians have died since October 7th? October 7th? No answer. How many Israelis have died since October 7th? All the answers you could need. That'd be about 30,000 Palestinians mostly women and children, to 1,100 Israelis. So I figured I'd close with, how many of the founders of Google were Jewish? Yeah, the answer would be both. Both of the founders of Google are Jewish, and they both support Israel in a big way. And remember, it can't produce a poem in the style of RFK Jr. because that would be hateful, racist, sexist, and otherwise discriminatory. But it has no problem generating a poem in the style of Benjamin Netanyahu. I know the other day I said that the pictures of white people stuff was just a distraction. We had to stay on point. I was mistaken. This is a big deal. <laughs> like from where I'm sitting, I think this basically qualifies as an action interference. Is that close enough for you to know what I'm talking about? We're not allowed to say those words on TikTok, which is pretty ironic. Seeing as the 